In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. My dear friend, I'm sure you are well. Uh, today, I want to talk about the importance of being patient in whatever it is that we do. Whether we are in business, whether we are in, in, in farming, Whatever it is that we are and whatever it is that we are doing, the importance of being patient. This topic is motivated by a story I once shared. It is called Babu Seeds. Babu Seeds. You know the, the Babu tree. A story is told of a gentleman who was looking for avenues to get rich. So one day, he came across a friend who told him that uh, there is an upcoming market for uh, babu seed rings and eventually uh, babu trees. And therefore, because he had a sizable piece of land, then he was told, like, no, you, because you have a, a big piece of land, if you plant those seeds uh, in a very short while, you'll be having a lot of money. So he asked his friend, where do I go for these seeds? And then he was told, these seeds are being sold at that, at that point. So the friend went, and this man went there, he was given the seeds. And the person who sowed the seeds told him, go plant them and keep on watering. Go plant, keep on watering. So he went home and in his sizable piece of land, he planted the seeds and he kept on watering and watering and watering the first year he kept on watering the second year he kept on watering the third year he kept on watering the fourth year he kept on watering now his friends who had you know eyed his you know his breakthrough of course jealously started laughing at him Oh, you see, you, you wasted a lot of money buying useless seeds. You see now how hopeless your project has turned to be. And the man almost gave up. But he remembered the Sarah, the words, keep on watering. Now, this was the fourth year. And of course, now everybody was laughing at him. Of course, he was the guy who had the biggest piece of land. And uh, given that uh, the others had small pieces of land, they knew that if this guy gets a breakthrough, we are done. The fourth year ends, and now the fifth year is here. And he remembered, keep on watering. So he kept on watering, and watering, and watering his seeds. One fine morning, in the middle of the fifth year, he woke up and found the whole piece of land green. The seeds had started sprouting one after the other. And after one month, the whole field was green. Lovely green. And now everybody kept quiet. That, oh... Look at his, his land. It is so green. Now this man is becoming rich. He remembered the words of the Sarah. Keep on watering. So he kept on watering. And I can tell you, uh, when time was ripe, this man made a lot of money. A lot of it. But let us ask ourselves, how did he, did he get to that point of breakthrough? Because he refused 
to listen to the crowd. And I have always talked about the crowd. And I want to ignore the crowd for now. This man was patient. So allow me, using that uh, beautiful story, to tell ourselves why we should be patient. I know this great day, there could be somebody maybe who is almost giving up and feeling that uh, maybe this is not what I was meant for. I have tried this for so long. When we were doing the novena for family deliverance, I know some people who told me that, Father, we have tried. We have tried and uh, nothing seems to work. And I can tell you, some of the stories I used to hear when we were starting the, no the novena, toward the end, the narrative had changed because God had come through for them. Because there is always the appropriate time or the opportune time when God comes through. So when we talk about patience, patience helps us in so many ways. And one of them is that it helps us in focusing on long-term goals. People who are not patient, they cannot do what the farmer did. The farmer in his heart, though he never knew, he focused on a seed that sprouts after five years. Had he known, honestly, I am doubting whether he would have bought. But that information was hidden from him. Maybe for purposes of uh, drawing the lesson that we are drawing this great morning. Because maybe uh, somebody who is an, an outright farmer would ask, how do you have me such an important information? We are not doing farming. But we are saying one thing. Sometimes when you are very patient, not sometimes, in fact, always, Patience will allow you to say that uh, now, this is where I am going. Uh, in the grand scheme of events, I'll have built this, I'll have built this, I'll have done this. Long-term goals. In contradistinction with quick fix mentality. That I want to flick a switch and something comes to be. And life, life is not about quick fix. In fact, I always ask, eh? God being God, all powerful and almighty, he would have said in one instance, let the world be. And the world could have been in an instant. I mean, in an instance, everything would have been there. But it but he took us through a process of creation spanning from one to seven, seventh day and every day has its own activities. So the lesson actually we get from the creation story is that nothing good that comes just that easily. Whatever that is good takes time. That's number one. Number two, whatever that is good is expensive. As a result, we will need to prepare very well for us to get something very good. Reason number two why patience is very important is, is that it helps us remain in remaining consistent. Consistent. Now, this is important. Now, those of you who are content creators, if you listen to me and you are a content creator in this cyber world, I would want to give you a piece of advice. And I would say this I give from, uh, from experience, first hand, first hand experience. You don't make an impression on cyberspace when you have woken up one day with some funny theatrics. Making a name and an impact, especially for content creators in the cyberspace, it requires one thing, primarily. Everything else will follow. This is one word, consistency. Consistency is an attribute for the patient. If you're not patient, 
Maybe you may find yourself doing things haphazardly. And that is not exactly how things are done. You don't do things haphazardly and then expect to reap out anything. The other point of uh, patience is that it will make you to be a magnet to people. Did you know that people are attracted to patient people? When you are a patient, you are more likely to attract people to yourself than if you are not. Because patience gives you a chance to look at the bigger picture and to put things in their right perspective. Number, one, number two, when you are a patient, you are, you are more or less you are more or less likely to jump into conclusions and judge people unfairly when you are a patient and that's very very important when you are a patient um you may not be able to to judge people that easily so what happens is that uh, you are able to put things into perspective and thereby people will be endeared to you because those the attributes i have just mentioned are the attributes that people would want to be associated with because you'd be at that point more warm you'd be more warm to be with i'm also told also i did that patience also helps in physical health what does that mean you see the the opposite of patience is worrying too much when you are not patient, it means automatically that you are worrying too much. And that may be able to affect our health. When we are patient, we are able to take things at a time. Every step at a time. And we don't overpressure ourselves for no reason. We do not put expectations on ourselves that are not even human and rational. To the extent that uh, we can't live a full human life. We behave as though we were robots. And human beings will always be human beings. And the age of technology did not change us from human beings to machines. And the moment we understand that, then we'll be good to go. Patience will always bring you peace. Because... You do things at a time, in their own time, in their own place. And you are able to do proper calculation. And even the risk you take is well meditated, reflected upon, and well strategized. Once you're able to do that, you're able to execute, to execute your moves with a lot of ease because... With that tranquility, you achieve a lot. I suppose when you are rushing out things, and to the, uh, at the end of it all, you even end up missing the point. You see, when you, you take time to strategize, you'll be able to do something that is so important in science. Paying attention to details. Part of the reasons why sometimes we, we fail in our endeavors is failing to pay attention to details because we are more concerned about the due date than we are concerned about the quality of work. Now, those of you who are students, maybe in the universities and colleges and you are doing those scientific papers, If you find yourself focusing on the due date, chances are you are either ill-prepared or you are a lazy student. A student who is at peace with themselves, what will they do? Once they are given a piece of an assignment, they will focus on delivering a qualitative assignment. Now, when you find yourself looking at the due date, it either means maybe you are already now running out of time, or maybe 
you feel that uh, the assignment is too much for you, such that uh, you're even wondering, uh, is this meant for my level or my grades? Can I be able to finish? And many times you will rush into finishing the paper as opposed to delivering a qualitative work, well thought and scientifically arranged. And that way we are told that uh, patience helps you avoiding making hasty decisions, rushing over things. That whatever it is that you do, you do it with a lot of ease and a lot of composure. Because of doing things well, strategically and rationally, patience improves your reputation. Because people know that when so and so is given an assignment, they will execute an assignment so well because they take time. If you have people who work for you, it is easy to know somebody who takes time to plan whatever it is that they do, as opposed to people who just jump into an assignment. And when it's all done, then they realize how messy it is because of some missing details. And finally, finally, patience drives you to work harder because you want to, th to see things happen. And when you see things happen, then you feel that, uh, you know, there, there is that kind of inner joy that I have achieved. Who wouldn't want to be associated with some good work? I mean, every one of us. I know you, you know, every time you celebrated a, a breakthrough, there were people who wanted to be associated with you. Because people like, uh, people like people who are succeeding. When you are more successful, you will have more relatives <laughs> than you would have <laughs> when you are struggling. <laughs> and that is normal. And that tells you, work hard. Work hard. Succeed in everything that you do. That way, you'll have so many relatives. And you'll never be lonely. Whatever that means. <laughs> okay. Let me make my call. Otherwise, I'm done. We can pick the other thing tomorrow morning. Hello. Hello.